Ralph so hello, is here too, by the way. Hello, Ralph. And hello, everybody. And welcome to our community meeting. I'm very happy to be back. I, I think I have missed the last three, which was unfortunate due to travel and then illness and then travel and other crazy things. Um, but I'm back now. So hello, welcome everybody. Back. Thank you. <laughs> um, so let's get started. We have a few previous action items and we'll start with Kadir who had to clear the helpful vote spam and get the KPIs. Right. So Kadir, you have the floor. Uh, yeah. So uh, we looked into this and uh, unfortunately right now the, uh, uh, the KPIs are still where they are. So we haven't cleaned that up yet, uh, but we've identified the issue there uh, and it seems to be um, that we were, so just to frame for everyone to, uh, so that you know what we're talking about, essentially we have two spikes on the KPI dashboard for helpful votes in the forums um, to down spikes, so to say, uh, with lots of negative votes. And they're all coming from one user uh, on each day, so this happened on two days. So we are filtering IP-based, but there wasn't apparently an issue with the IP filtering. So people were using the same ID uh, and we're still coming through. So Ricky is looking into that. Uh, and as soon as we know what exactly uh, caused them to be able to still vote, even though there is rate limiting in place, we are going to um, fix that bug. Um, and then we're also going to clean up the uh, KPI so that the spikes won't show up there anymore. Although we could actually do that already because they don't depend on each other. Um, but I would rather still first wait for uh, Ricky to look into uh, the issue. And unfortunately, Ricky was in Mexico last week, so he wasn't able to do any work on this. Um, we, we will need uh, to wait for him to do that this week. Cool. Great. Okay. Um, any questions for Kadir? If not, we'll move on. Uh, I see another action items here. Another action item here. Any, if you see any problems with our charts, please contact Kadir. So, if anybody anybody saw any problems with the charts, yeah, let me Kadir. give you an update on that too. So, last week I said we would update the KPI dashboard in the meantime, and we did. Uh, so, if you go on the KPI dashboard today, it looks different than uh, it usually does. Uh, except for the first one, uh, which has two uh, y-axis, and we can't do that yet. Um, so we are leaving that for next sprint. But it, except for the first uh, graph, every, every other graph is now on our new charting uh, software. It's called Rickshaw, and it's open source. Uh, so if you see anything that is missing, any feature that you, uh, that you need uh, on, on that side, uh, please let me know, or if you see anything that doesn't work as it sh uh, should actually work, or anything that, that's harder now than it, than before, it would be great to hear about that. Uh, ideally, file a bug, uh, but you can also just shoot me an email or open a forum thread or send me a message on IRC. Just just let me know. Uh, yeah, Michael, you want I was, to say something about I that? was going to say, when the, uh, when the line is near the top of the graph, the date and the value overlap and you can't read the date. Um, uh, so you have to find a line that goes near the top of the graph and you'll see what I'm talking about when you mouse okay. over it. Um, let, I, I will look at that and uh, if, if I don't know what you're talking about, I'll contact you. Okay. All right. Great stuff. Thanks, Kadir. And by the way, these new, these new graphs look, so, look awesome. It's really fun to like pull the the thing here. Yeah, I love how the scale My, changes automatically. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's very really cool. So I should also say this is uh, fr from Mike. Uh, so he will love to hear that feedback. All right. It's and good Michael, feedback. I just realized what you're talking about. <laughs> Great stuff. OK, um, let's move on to Michael. Tell us a bit more about how to localize videos. So I put a link there. Um, so th those are the instructions that were there last week, but I also added the uh, links to the articles that have videos that can be localized. The old videos, we have more videos than this, 
but there's a couple of problems with them. Uh, they're old. I no longer have the source video. They're more complicated videos. I'm trying to make less complicated videos now um, and all of that. So these are new ones. Also, the old ones are getting out of date slowly. Little bits of them get changed, you know. Um, so these are all these are new ones that are all current. There's only four of them at the moment. But um, if you would like to localize one of those, email me and I will send you a script and, uh, and you know, explain the process. We'll, we'll go through it. But then you'll just send me an audio file and I'll make a video out of it is how it works. You just have to record the audio in the same, like, basic length and pace of the, of the English one. And I can make... I can recreate the video in Spanish or I don't know, maybe. I, I haven't <laughs> tried like a, a right to left language. That'll be fun. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. You should totally try that. That would yeah. be so much fun. <laughs> All right, I like guys. The any... hat that you're wearing in the video, by the way, Michael. It's awesome. The hat. It really helps me get the instructions. Yeah. Oh, uh, to everyone out there, I think we all should wear appropriate hats for every video. My, uh, so when my hair isn't isn't ready for a meeting, that's the uh, <laughs> Minnie comes to rescue. Minnie comes to the rescue. Yeah, that sounds like a similar meme to that. Yeah, right. yeah I, I have no hats. I'm afraid you should lend me one. We'll have to fix that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Any questions for Michael and his awesome video? No. Actually, I have a question. Uh, I'm curious. You say that you know, in order to create this localized video, you know, come talk to you. Is that just to sort of get the the, the initial uh, instructions, or or I'm wondering if there's a way that we could that it would be possible for people to just kind of read the instructions and just go off on their own and create this thing, or is that impossible? Um, well, I guess what I could do is, yeah, thinking about that, let's see. I could also post a link to the script, and, I mean, and the videos exist. I mean, they're there on YouTube. You can play the video, read the script. So that's really, I guess, the only, the missing item is the script. I should just post a link to the script. And then, yeah, um, yeah. And then you can send me uh, an audio file, and then that's all I need. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm only asking because because uh, of the synchronous issue. Like, let's say we have someone in Japan who wants to do this thing, and then you know he has to talk to you about yeah. these things, and that might be a problem. Eight hours ahead, or fourteen. Hours I mean, if ahead. if you can have that synchronous meeting, it's probably very useful uh, because you know no one can. It's you know you, it's hard to learn things better than with a face to face kind of walkthrough. But yeah. but if it's possible for people to do it on their own, that would also be pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's move on. Right. Next one, it's myself with updates about my traveling because I've been away. Yeah. So, <laughs> so finally, my traveling. So I have been in the last two weeks, I've been traveling a bit. Uh, first of all, I went to Poland uh, to attend the aviary.pl meeting there. And then I went to Romania to to attend the first Romanian community meetup in like forever. So that was very interesting. So um, Poland was super, super interesting. Um, we have this group, which is uh, Aviary PL, some of you guys know, um, and they're organized a lot of, uh, around localization and they're doing a lot of stuff for, um, for Mozilla and also for Firefox OS. So it was really cool because we most of the meeting was you know just hacking stuff and people localizing uh, Firefox OS with Stash and you know actually doing things and it was very cool. Um, I had a session about Sumo um, and it was interesting because it seems that not a lot of people knew about Sumo and what we're doing in Sumo. Uh, and we got a lot of questions about how we we're doing things and about our Army of Awesome and the forums and all that stuff. So it was um, pretty cool to actually show people our new Get Involved page. Everybody was super uh, excited about uh, the pictures <laughs> and how things are done. 
Um, so it was it was very good. Um, we got a few people who are interested in helping out with Sumo. We actually have two new localizers now in Poland uh, who are helping us a lot with Firefox OS. So thank you very much, guys. It's Michal and then Patofu. Uh, thank name? you so much. Michal, the first guy and the second guy, his nickname is Pantofu. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Michal it's, it's... and... Pantofu. I'll, I'll have to I say. You did Pantofu. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> no, yeah, Pantofu no, means to... slipper. Yeah. It means shoe. Okay. <laughs> oh, Depends on the language. <laughs> it means shoe. In my language, it means shoe. Oh, shoe, slipper, same thing here. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll have to show you how it's spelled because it has this really cool spelling. Um, with cool. That's really awesome, though. New, new, uh, two, two new uh, localizers in Polish. Yeah, and they're yeah. doing an awesome job, an awesome job. I mean, it's like really, they're really up to date with Firefox OS articles, which is great because uh, Poland is something that just appeared uh, on our list. So it was hard to like organize everything. So it's great that we have so many enthusiastic people to help us. Uh, so thank you so much, guys, once again. It was great meeting you and I hope to meet you again. Yeah, um, I mean, that's, so one. That, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, the translation work that these two guys do will, will potentially impact thousands and thousands of people. So that's that's yeah. super awesome. So Michal and Pantufo, thank you if you're listening. Yeah, also like just, just to mention, Marlena, <laughs> uh, it was um, uh, Marek um, who has been helping on Sumo for a long time. He couldn't make it to the meeting, uh, but he, he has been helping um, these two new contributors a lot. So thank you very much because uh, also thanks to your reviews, uh, we're, we're getting started. So, and Marlena, thanks because it was you who went there and got them started. Of course. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks, no Mike. I, I didn't meet you in Poland, unfortunately, because you weren't there, but you know, um, you're doing a great job reviewing all these articles. I know it's a lot of work. So thanks, you too. It's like a great Polish team right now that we have. Yeah. Uh, Sounds maybe. like it. Super awesome. Yeah. Right, so that was Poland, and then, as I said, I went to Romania, which was uh, pretty different because Romania, it's, it's a community that actually knows a lot about Sumo, um, and they, they are involved with a lot of things. They're all helping with localization. They're also helping with the forum sometimes. Um, there was no news for them to show them, like, the how we're doing things and about Army of Awesome and all that stuff. Um, but it was very cool because Romania will also be um, interested in Firefox OS at a certain point and they're already helping out with a lot of things there. Uh, so thanks guys for that as well. Um, we're planning on organizing an l 10 sprint soon uh, with, in summer in Romania uh, because we're a bit falling behind with um, some more articles, localization of some more articles. So, there are a few people there who are, who are really happy to help organize the sprint and they're like already starting doing stuff and um, and also uh, had a few people interested in the whole social part like the Twitter help a army of awesome and that was very cool. So I'm very happy I went because it, it was a great opportunity to actually meet everybody behind the you know behind the screen that I only knew from uh, their nicknames and to see their enthusiasm and the, all the stuff they're doing for Mozilla and, you know, set up that, that connection that we need because, you know, it's hard to actually uh, do all this stuff from just sitting in front of a computer and the best thing to do is actually meet people. Um, so that was great. So thanks again, the Romanian community. You guys rock. Right. So if you guys have any questions about my trips. Um, I was muted, but I was trying to say thank you. I'm not sure if you probably didn't hear it. <laughs> but thank You're you, welcome. guys. That's what I was trying to say. So if anybody has any questions, just shoot me an email or ping me on IRC. I'll be happy to tell you more. All right, cool. Uh, then let's move on to Sumo Dev update. All right. So Ricky, I don't think he he's here. He is probably yeah, he isn't here. Uh, so, but quickly an update from me. So the ninth sprint is coming up. I should say coming up. 
Uh, and we have two roadmap items this time. One of them is uh, integrating uh, the forum clo uh, more closely with the KB uh, and making it possible to navigate to forum uh, threads, um, uh, elevating uh, certain uh, topics that are important uh, to the product landing page, but also elevating threads that are related uh, to KB articles uh, to the KB articles page. Uh, that is one item that we are looking at. The other one is uh, improving the ask a question flow. So we have a number of items um, and a number of ways that we want to re revamp how the ask a question flow looks and works. Uh, those are the two things that we're going to focus on in the next two weeks. Um, that's our 75% time, but also we have a number of items in our 25% uh, time that we're tackling. Uh, and one of those, uh, and I think uh, really significant, is uh, that we are adding a warning for uh, non-supported Firefox uh, versions. So when you come to Sumo with a version of Firefox that is uh, outdated, we're going to warn you about that now. Um, and yeah, the other thing is that we're going to um, be advertising for a newsletter. So people uh, stay in touch with us even after uh, they don't have a problem anymore. Um, yeah, that's that's mainly it, actually, from the development side. As always, right. if you're interested in the details, you can follow the link uh, that is in there to uh, Scrum Bugs and look at every single bug in detail. Great stuff. Thanks, Kadir. Um, any questions for Kadir or Sumodev? If not, I'll ask you, Kadir, to continue with the UX updates. Yeah, like, like I said last week, Bram is mainly working on the product and topic landing pages right now. He will be working on this uh, for this week, too. Um, and we will have an update. Uh, I think uh, next week we should be able to share our drafts with the community and uh, ask for feedback on those. All right. Great stuff. Cool, then moving on to roundtable. We actually don't have any roundtable items this week, as I see. Um, so I'll just use this opportunity to, opportunity to actually encourage everybody who's listening or who's not listening, and we'll see this later. If you guys have anything to talk about, um, please just join this meeting and put your discussion item right there on the roundtable, and we'll be happy to, to talk about it. So don't be shy, just do it. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, all right, moving on, Firefox desktop. So the only thing that we have with uh, desktop this week is in Firefox 21 beta. We released a beta last week that has a major crash on some AMD hardware. Um, and we released it knowing it has a crash, hoping that we could get uh, some feedback from users. So if anyone runs into the um, crash stacks, and I link to the uh, contributor post that I have, uh, there's at least two, maybe more different uh, stack traces with this crash, uh, please let me know. Um, it's only on beta and it's only on Windows. And it happens sometimes on that AMD hardware and sometimes not. So we're having a real hard time uh, reproducing it. So. All right. Thanks, Tyler. So if anybody has any info about this, please contact Tyler. This is very important. All right. No questions for Tyler? Take one, take two, take three. OK, Firefox for Android. Roland, I think oh, that's you. Hello. Hello. I'd like to thank uh, those who answered questions. Um, and uh, let's all answer questions. Could you ask some questions? We don't have much to document Firefox 21, but there's a whole bunch of little things. And I uh, would like to get through those little things in our sort of quiet time in Firefox 21. Firefox 22, we might have some more stuff. So this is just a heads up. We may have to do, I don't know, screenshots or something for Reflow on Zoom and a new tab UI. We'll, we shall see. We're still in the research phase. And other than that, Firefox 20 is looking great. Excellent. Great stuff. So then we'll keep being mobile. And we're moving to Firefox OS. Michelle, are you on the line? Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, I wanted to thank um, all the folks localizing Firefox OS articles. We started two weeks ago setting 
uh, articles ready for localization and things are going very well so thanks everyone who's working on that um, if you're interested to localize help articles uh, and you don't have a device most of us don't have prototype devices you can use uh, the simulator and set your location um, to get the localized UI to make screenshots so thanks especially to our uh, Polish localizers and Mozilla Hispano and our Brazilian Portuguese uh, localizers. You guys are doing a great job. And um, we did have Geeks Phones go on sale last week, as I'm sure everyone heard. There were a couple hundred articles in the press, neutral to positive. Uh, so that was really exciting that they sold out. Tyler? Yeah, I was just wondering, do we know when those Geeks Phones are getting actually shipped? And we I can don't. watch for feedback. Um, I think they said they were going to ship as soon as possible. We should be watching for feedback right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I was just looking on the forum, the Geeks Phones forums this morning, and don't see anything about people receiving theirs yet. So. Awesome. I'm sure that that it will Sometime show up soon. first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for keeping your eyes peeled. For that, I think we're all sort of waiting <laughs> uh, to see with a lot of excitement. Um, and um, oh, I put an item there with that we tested a little ask a question flow um, last week for Firefox OS. So we'll have some feedback on how that works on desktop as well as on mobile um, for uh, for the in preparation for turning that on once we get uh, the, the commercial devices launched. We won't have that turned on for Geek's phone. For now, we'll just keep the discussion forum open. And um, there are a few questions, a uh, question or two every couple days out there right now from developers. But the place to go for um, to also look is devphone.geeksphone.org. Or I'm sorry, devphone.mozilla.org. I'm looking at the box. I'll put that in the minutes. Any questions for me about Firefox OS or other stuff you guys are seeing or hearing that you want to report on? Oh, that's cool. Devphone, I didn't know that. All right. So if no more questions, we'll move on to Thunderbird. Oh, all right. No real update, but Thunderbird 24 full release is coming up, and we only have 12 or so weeks to really fix the major bugs, so please test it if you have the time and the opportunity to test some beta software. I use it every day, and it's fine, but we need to more eyeballs. Thanks. Next. <laughs> all right. That was short and happy. Oh, any um, questions? Sorry. Any questions? Any questions for Thunderbird? Oh, Fear56 had a question, and I can't remember what it was. I will answer you in IRC, Andrew. Love Thunderbird. All right. Thanks, Roland. Metrics. Clear? I think that's you. Well, right now, I don't have anything to add to metrics. That's why there's nothing also on the um, public either pad. Uh, the same thing that I I said last week or just before if you see anything uh, on the um, uh, on the graphs uh, on the KPI dashboard but also on the article helpfulness graphs that uh, don't look okay or that should be changed uh, let me know great all right any questions for Kadir no okay look I'll at the look at the active contributor yeah. graph Mm -hmm. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's been rising for the last few weeks. I think for the Twitter one, it's uh, it might be because we added the Twitter account. Um, so now everything that um, is posted for Firefox is also coming uh, to us, to Army of Awesome. So we have more stuff that people can reply to. Um, but it had already been, it was already on a positive trend up before we did that. So maybe we increase that. Run. I'm not quite sure. It's, it's awesome, nevertheless. One thing that I noticed about this graph, though, is where did the legends go? Was that taken away? 
No, the legend is at the bottom, uh, and you can actually see them when you hover over them. They're not at the bottom in terms of color. What I meant is kind of mapping the color with right. what it is. But I see that I can hover. Yeah. There. No, that's that's missing. That's one of the things that are missing. That and the date picker are missing. And that was there before. Those bugs I already know. Turn grass Sorry? on and off is also missing. Uh-oh. Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is it? Anyway. <laughs> I, I, I just thought I saw that before, so that's why I asked. Like, was this, this a regression, I guess? Yeah, legend and date picker are those two things that I already know are missing okay. here. Oh. Uh, the worst have thing you know is them. to be reminded of something you already know, so sorry for rubbing no, it in. No worries. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't uh, missing it. It doesn't matter. Even if you think I know it, please let me know. Rub again. it in. <laughs> yeah, rub it in. Let me know. It's. All right. It's okay. I can live with it. <laughs> awesome. Good surprise. All right. Interesting that you were talking about those graphs, because that was my point with the community app updates. Um, I just wanted to congratulate everybody in the Army of Awesome community. We're really kicking it there. We're like, we have like hundreds of people helping out, which is great. Um, thank you so much, guys, for getting involved. And most uh, of all, how Thank you to everybody who has been talking about someone and Army of Awesome at their events uh, and help, uh, help more people get involved, especially in Mozilla India. I know you guys have done a lot of events where you just grab people and show them Army of Awesome. So thank you so much for that. It's great. It's the first point to start in Sumo. It's a lot of fun and it just gets better and better from there. Um, so great stuff. And also, as Kadir said, we're adding tweets now for the Firefox official channel. So it's actually more stuff going on. More tweets to answer. So, you know, more people. We always need more people. So thank you so much. Um, it's great and I'm very happy to see this growing so fast. Yeah, it's awesome. I, I, I'm seeing, I saw an invitation on Facebook for one of these events that you just talked about, Madalena. So it's it's really yeah. like there, these things are starting to happen kind of on their own, not on not without people, of course, but without us, our direct involvement, which is pretty awesome. So it's yeah, like we, the, we the whole idea of having a sumo event is, is becoming viral itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to find it again, but Facebook sucks when it comes to searching. That oh, was yeah. the Indian uh, yeah. event. I, th I think you're talking about the Indian event. Uh, yeah, that's, that was a pretty that's awesome it, one, actually. I was just yeah. trying to find it again. That, that's all, but I, ca I can't find it. Yeah, I'm very happy because there are so many great people out there who are just talking about Sumo um, and showing people how to get involved and doing events on their own. Um, and, yeah, you know, really cool. that, that's absolutely amazing. So thanks, guys, once again for all your hard work. Hey, sorry for... Uh, yes, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. And, and sorry for me being the guy who keeps going back to focusing on the negative and rubbing it in. Uh, in Kadir's face, but but I need to remind you of this thing as well, <laughs> that uh, I hate when I switch to weekly or monthly view for these graphs that it's always going down at the very end. Cool. And we I know that we talked about this ages ago, but can't can't we just do something about that so that it doesn't look like everything is trending down at the very end? It should be possible to just take the average for the last for the for the whatever how many days we've collected data like let's say it's January 7th and you would just take seven days and you would divide it by seven yeah and, you know what I mean it I know what you mean we already have a bug for that it's totally possible it's just that uh, we have about 600 open bugs and it never seemed like one of the most important ones but why does it seem like whenever I have a pet bug it's so much more important <laughs> do you guys have that as well <laughs> you know we should file that bug <laughs> I should file a bug for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'll shut up. Cool. All right. Let's move on to Elton and so, Sana. So I just wanted to say that um, uh, there's a couple of communities that are really um, doing a great job uh, right now. Uh, Ralph, thanks for, for doing, you know, organizing the Brazilian community. I think you should write a blog post telling us all the cool things that you've done with them because, you know, Brazilian was a, a, a Brazilian Portuguese was a, a locale that was struggling for a long time. And right now we're at 90% uh, localization of the top articles, which is like an awesome um, 
achievement on itself and there's a lot of new people that are jumping in and doing a lot of contributions so um you know Ralph, i think that's a, it's a very good example of how to you know like um help a community to to get uh, energetic again so that's that's really cool um um also michelle already posted we have um the plans for firefox OS localization i posted them again on the etherpad if any one of you hasn't seen them um, or if you haven't seen the post on the Elkinen forums, um, here's again. Um, you have the links. Uh, Michelle has the, the user guide, so you can, you can have an idea of uh, what it's going to need to be uh, localized. Um, I actually did the, the work and went and count words, and I think it's around 9,000 to 10,000 words. Um, so it's really not that much text. There's a lot of um, screenshots. I mean, of course, it's a lot of things that you have to translate, and we'll have a weak markup and everything. Um, uh, but, you know, it seems to be that this is like totally doable and, you know, with the five articles a week that uh, Michelle is putting um, ready for localization, um, I think that we're doing a, an excellent job. As Madalena said, the Polish community is like uh, kicking it and they're, they have a lot of articles. Mozilla Hispanic community, again, and they're on top of things and they're um, helping us there, also the Brazilian community. Um, I, we've been talking a lot about these three uh, locales here because um, there's uh, uh, obviously some, uh, you know, we have a focus there, but it doesn't mean that we don't think about the other communities because we still have our very strong communities. Um, so we might be talking a lot about these other uh, uh, locales, uh, but, you know, our, you know our, to our usual contributors, thank you very much. Um, if you check the KPI, the, we have now also, a, you know, like we have a, a spike on the, um, on the contributors, uh, on the localizers. Um, so we're really doing a great job. New people are joining uh, and are helping us. Uh, and, and this is only possible if, if our longtime contributors uh, help us onboard new people. Um, so, you know, it's, it's like a whole place. So really, thank you everyone um, who's, who's, who's contributing here. And um, as I told you, that's the plan. Uh, that's the user guide. Um, if any one of you is very interested in doing uh, screenshots, uh, let us know. You can even do screenshots in a language that's not yours. So if you like a certain language uh, and you want to do screenshots, uh, I know Michael has all the tricks. Uh, you can uh, help other locales. So this is the this is one of those chances where you can help localize a language that you don't understand. So uh, wow. let us know if you're if you're interested in in doing that. Uh, it could be kind of fun. Um, and then we can we can uh, do all those articles. Um, for the locales that are not going to be launching Firefox OS soon, you can go ahead if you have the time to localize those articles. Um, but you know, don't feel any pressure uh, because they might change a bit. Um, but but I'm sure that if you're very concentrated on your um, uh, statistics, uh, you will definitely want to uh, translate them. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, it. Like we're we're really putting the focus here, and it's a very um, new thing to do. When Firefox 4 came out, like uh, everyone was working on the one thing, and, and it was at the same time for all the world. And this time we have a the focus is different, um, but nevertheless everyone's doing a great job. So thanks a lot. And let us know if you have any questions regarding the user guide or the localization plan, or if there's um, anything that we can do. All right, great stuff. Thank you so much, Rosanna. Um, any questions for Rosanna Eltenen? Take one, take two. Okay, two knowledge base. Up. That's all. Thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Knowledge base. Um, I updated the documentation status board. Um, which itself needs to get linked from someplace, <laughs> like the the knowledge base uh, documentation and the and the technical writing program uh, posts or, and things. But I um, so I updated that with um, our current projects, including the Firefox OS and the needs changes list. You can see there, and I updated the calendar with um, releases going on through like the summer something so um, that's all on there what else the next documentation cycle Firefox 22 starts this week um, but in conjunction with that I would like to try to start um, the uh, our new research group that we wanted to um, create so um, Roseanne and I'll talk about that tomorrow and come up with um, more details 
uh, about that, but I, I was just thinking about that this morning, so I wanted to put that on there. Um, like I said earlier, localizing videos, uh, there's uh, more information there. I'll add links to the script so that um, you don't have to get the script from me. You can just get the script off the page. Um, and then another big project that, that we've been working on is um, cleaning up our, our information architecture um, and having articles in only one topic or subtopic, at least uh, for now. And so um, I've spent some time over the last couple of weeks doing that for desktop and for Android. Um, this won't make a big difference on the site to begin with um, because we don't have a new design for topic and subtopic uh, pages, but um, that's something Brahms working on. And so soon we'll, we'll have that, but I'm going to go ahead and start um, for desktop and Android, putting them into the topics and subtopics. So uh, each article will be in just one place. Kadir, did you, you look like you had something to say about that? Actually, I just wanted to say the last sentence that you said. Uh, that will also reduce the number of articles that you will see overall, because they're only uh, showing up in one place. It means that there are fewer articles uh, that are populating the whole uh, structure, the whole navigation. So even before we make any change, um, any development changes on the product landing and topic landing page, with just that change, we will already help people but by reducing the these huge lists um, that, that have so many articles on them. Right. The big, the big reduction will come when we redesign the page. But yeah, it should just reduce some. I haven't counted how many it would, but yeah. David looks like he has a question. Uh, yes. Uh, no, I'm, I, yeah, I'm curious about this only one, that an article only exists in one category. I'm not sure if I'm completely uh, in the loop about what that means, because doesn't that depend on what categories we have? Like, for example, an article could be about configuration, but it could also be about troubleshooting. That's the way I'm thinking about categories, but maybe this is another thing. Uh, th this is about articles. So, yeah. so an article can be in two different places. But the thing is that users are actually okay to switch between those things. So they don't find an article in one uh, topic. They look at the next topic. Okay. Uh, but if you have the same article in a number of different topics, what happens is that you inflate the whole thing. So when they switch mm -hmm. from one topic to the other, they now have to cope with 10 or 20 articles in one topic and 20 articles in the other topic. So they only look at the first three or so. So mm -hmm. it doesn't actually help to put them into um, into as many topics as you can think of. Right. That's yeah. interesting. The I mean, because you would think that by, by putting it everywhere, you kind of increase the likeness of people finding. But it, but it's a bit like I've I've I read this about UX as well. Is the the more path you have to a function in the program, the the, the less likely it is that people are going to find it because it just yeah. makes it harder. So right. like by having one place it simplifies finding that item. And there, so I, I don't know if that's related at all, but, but I, I guess I see what you guys mean. Yep. And there might, be, there might be exceptions. There might be particular articles that need to be in more than one, one place for some reason, w which we'll look at. But first, we want to just get everything in one place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Great. That's good. And Roland has been part of the Android or is yeah. categorization yeah. too? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Great stuff. OK, thanks, Michael, and everybody about the update. Uh, we'll move on to the support forum. Um, I just wanted to thank everybody who participated last Thursday in Sumo Day. We had 90% of the questions answered. Um, so that's really good. So thank you so much for your participation and for involvement. Um, again, I know the forum is quite a tough job. Um, so I really appreciate everybody who's really struggling there to help our users and keep them happy. So great How stuff. How many people uh, answered 10 questions last week? I answered a bunch. I don't know if up to 10. Yeah, I, I always count. I'll make sure that I do 10. So two I don't people. think mine got to 10. I can pull out the report and see. Yeah. All right. All right. I don't find it to be that hard. I, I, I actually, 
I even like even when I have no clue about how to solve a problem, I try Firefox reset, <laughs> and it typically solves the problem. People people are like, yeah, thanks, you know that worked. <laughs> and so uh, what I do when I uh, you you can probably see this if you run the reports, but but I try to be really really kind of polite and nice and kind of empathetic about the whole thing. So I, I kind of explain that that doesn't sound good or that doesn't sound like a nice problem to have. Here's something that you could try. I'm, I'm, I'm really taking the time and, you know, I type so incredibly fast too because I've, I've been a nerd for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. but, but I try really hard to, to write in a very empathetic manner mm -hmm. to, uh, and, and then it almost feels like it doesn't really matter if you don't solve the problem because <laughs> the user is going to be thankful somehow anyway. But, uh, you know, so, so so I, my focus, you know, so far has been on being very kind of understanding, being very polite, and then Firefox reset, Firefox reset, Firefox reset. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to do the trick for me. And safe mode. Yeah, but that's like, no, don't do that. Just, Just do the safe, know, I mean, reset. Reset. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, so, so sometimes <laughs> when I have a, a kind of a hunch on what, what it could be about, then I, I do try other things. But yeah. Firefox reset <laughs> is pretty awesome, I got to say. I use uh, answering questions in the support forum as a uh, therapeutic tool. So if I'm too deep in some other issue, I'll just go answer a few questions in the forum and uh, take my mind off of it. Yeah, that's a good that's a good idea actually. So if you're getting stuck in any of your problems, anyone, including myself, then just you know go to the forum, answer a question, see if yeah, that yeah. Uh, takes you off that. Reminder, we should, um, all of us volunteers, especially, we shouldn't over rotate. Just try to help out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I fall into the trap of, oh my gosh, what if this person's super duper technical person? I need to throw everything out there just in case. No, I think it's better to keep it briefer. That's my experience. As you can see, my replies are too long, so I'm trying to emulate your, you and Tyler's short reply. Well, that's the thing. My 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 replies aren't really short anymore. They're they're getting longer, but but I think they're getting higher quality <laughs> because I I I, the, I try really hard to not use canned responses and. That's actually just very inefficient of me, but but I, I I like to sort of make it personal every time. Uh, but you can probably see a curve where I'm super personal the first one, and then the tenth answer is you know getting shorter. <laughs> anyway. All right. All right. So that's about it. Um, any other questions? Comments. Action items, anything. Good meeting. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to spread out. Uh, just as a reminder, we have uh, on Fridays uh, our uh, usual buddy meeting. Uh, so if anyone's interested, just come and join us. Um, you'll yes. find all the information in the in the, in the forums and on the Etherpad. Oh, and one one thing actually, Europe is Labor Day on Wednesday, so uh, right. the the noise. And attendance in the IRC channel is going to be much reduced, at least until 6 p.m. or so in European time. Yeah, that's true. So FYI for everyone who uh, idle in IRC. It so really we're, we're we don't work in the U.S. Huh? We work in. We we don't work in the U.S. in North America. We use slaves. Uh, we uh, Well, I, I think it's the same in San Francisco and Vancouver. There's a few communists who celebrate May Day on May the 1st in North America. Communists. Communists? Yeah. They're actually communists. Unreconstructed, unreconstructed communists. They're hilarious people. Yeah, we have protests in Seattle on May 1st. Exactly. Um, and, and right where I live, there's a park, and this is the only year that I see um, mounted police. Wow. They, they, yeah, so it's weird. May Day is weird in North America. It makes sense in Europe. Same here. It doesn't make sense here either. Protests no. everywhere. Oh, it does make anyway. sense. We're just going out for barbecues. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Touche. Yeah. There you go. Hey, barbecue. Enjoy it. It's European barbecue all the way. All right, guys. Thank you so much for this amazing meeting and have a great week, everybody. And I'll see you soon. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. Thanks uh, Madalena. Good job hosting the meeting and have a great week, everyone. Yeah.